from the uh, overall uh, semiconductor perspective in terms of automotive, um, uh, one has to understand that the uh, cycle time and the uh, supply chain is very complex. So if you uh, change your demand or if you need additional demand, this takes quite some time, uh, some time until you can cut this additional capacity and additional volume. So therefore, uh, unexpected changes like uh, the recovery, which we did see in the last quarter of the calendar year, um, typically are very hard to fulfill on the very short term. And when can we expect some of these bottlenecks to be ironed out? How long is this supply shortage going to persist for? Yeah, the, the duration of that basically has to do with the, uh, how fast semiconductor companies can install capacity. So the manufacturing process is quite a complex process and it takes quite some time to get new tools into the, uh, uh, into the fabs and to qualify that. So therefore, from that perspective, we need to assume that this situation will take uh, several more months until we can uh, see a relaxation in the overall supply chain. Well, there is talk of some automakers changing their model to move away from the just-in-time model uh, with the view that they can't allow something like this happen again and they may need to therefore stockpile chips. What do you make of this move or potential move from the automaker industry? Yeah, I think first of all, uh, it's very much important that the entire supply chain does understand how complex the uh, semiconductor manufacturing is. And I think we are currently learning that. Um, therefore, having a, a change in terms of a more long term as well as a more transparent planning makes sense. So having longer planning cycles and planning horizon uh, having a more transparency along the entire value chain and also having then uh, the, 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 the behavior that if there are downturns that uh, people do not or companies do not reduce the inventory because it's very good to have that inventory for the upstream ready. Now you produce most of your chips in Germany. Would you think of outsourcing uh, in order to meet the additional demand? Yeah, so basically, Infineon has a clear strategy about uh, what do we manufacture in-house in our own fabs and what, where do we use uh, manufacturing partners. So especially if these are products where the differentiation is in the technology we produce in our own fab. A good example is the chips for the electromobility. Here we invested heavily, for example, also in our fab in Philoch, which we pulled in uh, to be ready for start of production this September, this year already, to support the electromobility. But there is other products such as, for example, microcontrollers, where we use external manufacturing partners.